church family. For the last several months, we've been meeting only remotely. We've been meeting from a distance. But soon, we're going to be able to offer our church family the ability to continue to meet remotely, but also the option of gathering again for a live worship service. On May 22nd, our president announced that uh, religious gatherings are deemed essential, and on May 25th, we were given guidelines from our state about what gathering in our church services should look like. So our church staff has read these policies, we've uh, thought through these policies, and we've, we've, uh, we've developed what stage one of gathering together as a church at 11th Street Baptist uh, will look like. Our policies uh, uh, range from when you enter into uh, the church parking lot, parking in every other uh, uh, space in order to promote social distancing. Also, when you enter into the building, there will be uh, tape that marks off six feet on the floor uh, to be able to maintain social distancing, and you'll be directed to enter into the church building on either the left, center, or right aisle. You'll see that some pews are marked off and that there'll be even tape and signs in our church building to be able to uh, indicate where safe places are to sit. In our church service, there will be a few adjustments. Uh, we will have printed materials uh, won't, will not be passed out, rather they'll be digital. Our pew Bibles and hymnals will be put away for the time being, and um, our worship service will be abbreviated. The purpose of this is to, uh, uh, to uh, limit our bathroom usage. Now, of course, bathrooms will be able to be used uh, for urgencies, but we want to be able to limit use of them according to our federal government's suggestions. Well, even when we leave the church building, we'll do so in a way that continues to promote social distancing. And of course, we want to encourage uh, socially distanced, safe conversations in the parking lot. But we don't want to do that in the church building because we want to be able to have good flow in and out of the church building. The church family. Um, returning to church, at least immediately, it's not going to be exactly what we hoped for. It's not going to be a return to normal. And yet it's still going to be good. When we return to church, what we're doing is we're respecting our authorities. We're taking serious to their role in our lives to promote health and to promote security. We're going to respect them and the guidelines they've set forth. And we're going to abide by these policies. We're going to wear face masks. We're going to promote social distancing. Uh, and we're going to try and limit our bathroom usage. We're going to respect our authorities. We're also going to care for one another. We're going to create an environment in our church where safety is a priority. And those who are most vulnerable to this virus are protected. We're not going to create an environment in our church where the virus can easily spread. And we're going to beg God that the virus doesn't spread at all through our church. But we're also going to take with complete seriousness the joy of meeting together. Although we're not able to do everything we want to do, we're not able to give each other hugs and have our garden exchange, we are going to be able to see each other face to face. We are going to be able to hear each other sing under the muffled face mats, and you're going to be able to see me, in the flesh, preaching. So these are all going to be joyous things. So church family, this isn't a return to normal, but this is going, to, there's going to be several good things about this. So what we'd like for you to do is, uh, if you can, read our policies that, uh, that we have on our website and sent out through email. Read the policies about what church services will look like in our stage one of reopening. And also what we'd like for you to do is we'd like for you to, uh, to take a survey. We've developed a survey, and our hope is just to get a feel for where our church family is at. Are you guys excited about returning to church, given all of these policies? Are you nervous? Is your plan to come the first week we allow them, despite the face masks and abbreviated service? Are you planning on waiting? We'd love to know your thoughts so that we can have a good understanding of where our church family is at. So please navigate to this link and fill out this survey for us.